And now, on to our dinosaur of the day, Tawa, which was a request from Crow and PaleoMike716 via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. This is a cool one. Mm-hmm. It's a possible basal theropod that lived in the late Triassic about 214 million years ago in what is now New Mexico in the U.S., found in the Hayden Quarry of Ghost Ranch. It looked like a theropod, which probably isn't too surprising since it lived in the late Triassic. Yeah. They all kind of had similar body shapes. A lot of bipedal carnivores in all parts of the dinosaur family tree at that point. Yes. So it walked on two legs. It had sharp teeth, a long tail, and that elongated head. It also has features like a bunch of dinosaurs. Its skull is similar to coelophysoids, and its ilium, the upper part of the pelvis, is similar to herrerasaurids. Yeah, I often think of Tawa as sort of coelophysis like Mm-hmm. But it had its own unique features, including on the femur, tibia, ankle bones, and foot bones. It was relatively slender. It had a long femur compared to its tibia. It also had long, large claws and sharp serrated teeth, and a kink in its upper jaws between the pre-maxilla and maxilla. So its upper jaw looks kind of like Herrerasaurus, and its snout looks kind of like Coelophysis. It's been described as being the size of a large dog, though with a much longer tail. Yeah, it's so hard to compare mammals to dinosaurs because mammals are so much more stocky, Mm -hmm. whereas dinosaurs tend to be really long and light. Well, Tawa's estimated to be over eight feet, about two and a half meters long, and weigh 33 pounds or 15 kilograms. (laughs) Yeah, like what animal is over eight feet long and only weighs 33 pounds other than like a (laughs) snake? (laughs) Dinosaurs. (laughs) The fossils were found in 2004 and described in 2009 by Sterling Nesbitt and others. From the 2009 description, they said the holotype is a juvenile or subadult based on the open brain case and comparing its femur to the femur of the largest individual. It had long hands that were, quote, particularly theropod-like. Hmm. And it had features in the forelimb and shoulder girdle like Herrerasaurus. There were paratypes found that include a nearly complete skeleton of a larger individual and fossils from at least six other individuals, including femora, pelvis, tail, and neck vertebrae. In 2014, Sarah Birch published a study on the forelimbs of Tawa. A nearly complete forelimb and pectoral girdle had been found, and they reconstructed muscles after comparing birds, crocodilians, lizards, and turtles. They reconstructed specifically the shoulder musculature and found that Tawa's muscles would have helped it with large, struggling prey. Hmm. That's handy. That is. (laughs) Handy. (laughs) The type and only species is Tawa Hale. The genus is named after the Hopi word for the Puebloan sun god. I didn't know that was where the name came from. It's a cool one though, Tawa. Mm-hmm. And the species name is in honor of Ruth Hall, who quote, collected many of the specimens that formed the genesis of the Ghost Ranch Ruth Hall Museum of Paleontology Collections, end quote. This is according to the paper that named Tawa. The fossils were first found by volunteers when they found a thigh bone in 2004, and then the site was starting to be fully excavated in 2006. It was found near Coelophysis and (laughs) Herrerasaurus. And it looks like... It looks like... Both of them. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) The holotype's a juvenile, and it's a mostly complete skull, forelimbs, partial spine, hind limbs, ribs, and gastralia. And at least seven other individuals were found at the same place. Yeah, New Mexican uh, Triassic stuff is so cool, how they find so many. Mm -hmm. It's like Coelophysis, we got like 200 of them. Yeah. And we got seven of this Tawa. It's just, it's on another level there. Yeah, so they found other fossils like parts of the legs, pelvis, tail, the neck vertebrae, and more. There's one femur that makes it seem like adults were at least 30% bigger than the juvenile holotype. Hmm. The Tawa fossils are well-preserved, so they were probably buried quickly after they died. Maybe they were swept up in a flood. It's one of the best-known theropods from the Triassic, and it helps show that early dinosaurs were widespread during that time. Tawa also had air sacs in the neck, similar to air sacs in birds and non-avian theropods, so it may have had a bird-like respiratory system, and that helps show that this evolved in early dinosaurs. There's a lot of debate over what type of dinosaur Tawa was. A study in 2021 considered it to be a non herrerasaurid herrerasaur. (laughs) In other words, a a close relative of Herrerasaurus. Yes, and Herrerasaurs were carnivores and some of the oldest known dinosaurs from the late Triassic. 
and they had curved claws and tend to be small, and only on the surface they look like theropods, but they're more basal. Christopher Bennett suggested that Tawa and Dromomeron romeri were the same, they were conspecific, and Dromomeron was a juvenile and Tawa was an adult. Rodrigo Mueller rejected this, though, in 2017 after finding differences between their femora. Tawa lived near the equator in a warm, monsoon-like climate with heavy seasonal rains. Other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place included Coelophysis, Chindosaurus, and Dromomeron. And some other animals that were also around at the same time and place include crocodilomorphs, phytosaurs, and dinosauriforms. Hmm. Other Triassic weirdos. Yes. <laughs> And Tawa was also featured in the Dinosaurs Alive IMAX movie, which shows the crew collecting the Tawa fossils. It's pretty cool. I think we watched that. That sounds very familiar. It does. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.